Good afternoon, friends of this page. We're talking about Fallout 3 today, and we're in the Capital Wasteland. Now, the Capital Wasteland differs immensely from Fallout New Vegas. For the simple fact, you're always underground, and you're dealing with the number two ranked wasteland predator, and that is a fernal ghoul. Now, unless you got the ghoul mask, and we're not going to discuss that because it takes a bit of treachery for you to be able to get that item, you're going to be dealing with this predator on a consistent basis. Just like in Fallout New Vegas, I did my downloadable missions first. I recommended earlier that you go to Paradise Falls while playing Fallout 3, and you get the weapon that they offer you. You're going to use that weapon to enslave the number 4 Wasteland Predator that keeps jumping up and popping in your way, trying to eat you as you move your way trying to get to the uh, Anchorage quest. Pulling off the Anchorage quest will take you about four hours, and you don't need a lot of skill points to pull it off. So that's a great thing, and you leave out a lot of good weapons. From there, make your way and pull off the Point Outlook quest. Once again, you don't need a lot of skill points to get a lot of good weapons. As you can see, Survival Trip 12 for me centers around weapons, how to use them, and but most important, having the right weapon at the right time wins encounters. Fallout 3 for me is a very compelling story about a preteen that is forced to leave home uh, and thrust into a hostile environment where the number two ranked wasteland predator, fertile ghouls, are trying to eat you. The number three rate ranked wasteland predator, super mutants, are trying to eat you. The number four ranked wasteland predator, dirty no good raiders, humans, are trying to eat you. And the number one ranked wasteland predator, Death Claws, are trying to eat you. Now, with the right weapon, you can win all of these encounters, and you won't have to use a tons of stem packs. Now, as you notice, my AI partner will freeze up the screen if it's loaded down with too much gear. That's a problem that we have, that you'll always have. So, you know, be leery of that. Uh, don't get too far ahead of them. Save as much as you can. Because if you're rolling around with a super mutant friend as your AI partner and you got a lot of loot in there that you, you know, accumulated, it's going to freeze up. Fallout 3 is a beautiful, it's a beautiful story even though it's set in a dreary place of the Capital Wasteland. While in Fallout New Vegas, you get to always see Vegas and it's bright, you know, and you got uh, uh, people dancing in the street. Uh, and the Capital Wasteland, you got none of that. You know, all you have is death and, and dreary and but you're rummaging around in 200 years of history. So it would have been nice if they had taken the, the Grand Theft Auto or even the Godfather approach where your AI friends could set up shop in abandoned buildings and you can earn percentage of their, their loot per day or you could talk to more people like in Grand Theft Auto and hey, can we see a boob? I mean, we can have graphic violence but we can't see boobs or you know, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, as a fan who's been waiting and waiting and playing Fallout 3 in New Vegas so much that I've had to buy multiple discs to replace them, I came up with the only graphic novel about the Fallout universe called Fallout, The Descendants of Vaults 42, 43, and 55. Now, these are new wastelands that you can explore. New heroes, new villains, same predators. Set in an untapped, unexplored wasteland. This is for fans who enjoy the Fallout universe and are waiting for Fallout 4. I have given you a new wasteland. Download it. Order. Amazon.com or from outskirtpress.com today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a mushroom cloud to walk into.